Hello everyone, this is uh, AI6YR with uh, just a quick video. Um, figured out that the uh, International Space Station, ISS, is sending down uh, pictures this weekend. So uh, what I've got here, just to, for those who might want to do this, is you've got to figure out when the ISS is coming over overhead. And uh, I've got a 2-meter uh, FM uh, transceiver, an old one, Kenwood, but that works for fine for this. And then um, got my Android phone. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to use a phone with a ham radio here, but this is a, running a program called Robot, Robot 36. And uh, it, what that does is it decodes uh, images uh, in slow scan TV. That's SSTV. So uh, what we're doing here is going to wait for the ISS, and I'll zoom in, see, see if we can get the image or not. Don't know if we'll be successful. So uh, just a, a couple of quick things before the ISS shows up in the next few minutes. Um, it, you've got to figure out when the ISS is coming over, and uh, n2yo.com, that's November 2, Yankee Oscar, has a website that lets you predict the satellite orbits, and uh, it's, uh, for the most part, is accurate, and uh, you can go in and see the ISS, and you can see both visible and non-visible passes. For the hand radio guys, non-visible is important because we can still receive those signals even if we can't see it, and most of the time the sites show just when you can see it on the horizon and the sun's right. So uh, this is going to a, a two-meter J-pole that's on the back. Uh, this I'm actually out in my uh, garden shed, uh, which I built, uh, and uh, we're going to have to change the frequency a little bit uh, to uh, to see. Uh, you know, there's there's a little bit of a Doppler shift when when any spacecraft goes over overhead, and so as the spacecraft is coming toward you, the uh, frequency will go higher, I believe, uh, and then when the uh, fr uh, because of the uh, Doppler shift, and as it goes away, the frequency goes lower. So we'll start at uh, probably uh, uh, 145, 805, or 810, and uh, see what we hear when it comes over. Uh, the other thing is you got to turn squelch down, so uh, you uh, you can hear what's going on. So there's a two minute pause between images. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to catch the next image or not, but uh, we got one, not the prettiest one, but uh, we'll take a close up after we uh, see if they send another one here.
So there, there's the image. It's not great. Um, the reason why is because we didn't have a great pass, not a great antenna. And uh, when you've got a low pass, I think we're only about 20 degrees, you don't have very much time and not a very strong signal. It's better if it's like 80 or 90 degrees. So we'll try later um, and see what we get. Well, there's the AI6YR. I've uh, moved to a different radio in a uh, choir location. I'm not sure if the radio or the location or the antenna location will be better uh, for another pass. Uh, still a little bit low, but uh, coming up in about uh, 10 minutes. So we'll record that and see if I can get a better picture uh, this time around on the ISS. Well, there's the image we were able to get earlier. It's not perfect. I'm sure that a uh, better antenna and, uh, and a direct connection between the uh, radio and the uh, software would would help that quite a bit. But uh, at least uh, you get a chance to see what uh, what an image from the ISS looks like. And I'm sure there's uh, people out there who are a lot better th at this than I am, but it's kind of fun to be able to see uh, what we're getting here from space, getting something from space there. Um, and uh, that's directly from the International Space Station. This is AI6YR.